Not long ago, I was a member of a special committee created to address the opioid crisis in my community. This committee was composed of nurses, therapists, addiction counselors, halfway house directors, health department staff, recovering addicts and alcoholic, family members, a psychiatrist, a nurse practitioner, a primary care doctor, and a CEO of a hospital, all working together to devise a plan for preventing fatal drug overdoses. At one point, a doctor expressed frustration with the poor outcomes for addiction treatment, and most members nodded in agreement. After all, isn't it common knowledge that success rates for drug and alcohol treatment are exceptionally poor? Well, research doesn't support this premise, which is why I shared the following information with the committee. The National Institute on Drug Abuse states that research tracking individuals in treatment for addiction over extended periods has shown that most people who enter and remain in treatment stop using drugs, decrease criminal activity, and improve occupational, social, and psychological functioning. Thus, the key to success for treatment providers, recovering addicts, and families is to understand that addiction is a chronic illness just like other chronic illnesses such as diabetes, hypertension, and asthma. In practice, addiction has rarely been treated as such. More often it is thought of as a moral failing, sheer stupidity, or just someone who likes to get high. Diabetes, hypertension, asthma, and addiction are all illnesses that require management because relapses are common. Diabetics can ignore a proper diet, refuse to monitor sugar levels or skip insulin, and thereby create a medical crisis. Persons with hypertension can stop medications and end up with a heart attack or stroke. Asthmatics can skip using their inhalers and end up in the ER. Recovering alcoholics can hang out with an old drinking buddy and use alcohol again. Relapses do not mean failure. After all, they are common with chronic illnesses and thus should serve as a trigger for renewed intervention and treatment. Here are the relapse rates for four chronic illnesses according to the National Institute on Drug Abuse. 30 to 50 percent of people with type 1 diabetes fail to stick to their treatment plan. 50 to 70 percent of people who suffer from asthma fail to take their meds or make recommended lifestyle changes. 50 to 70 percent of people with chronic high blood pressure don't take their medication as directed. And 40 to 60 percent of drug addicts will relapse from their plan of treatment. Thus, persons with asthma and high blood pressure relapse more frequently than recovering addicts. Who would have imagined such a thing? I hope this helps you think of addiction in a new way. After all, it is a chronic illness like any other. If you'd like help in your recovery or understanding of addiction, then visit my website, serenityonlinetherapy.com, to learn more about the online services I provide. And if you'd like this video, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you want to hear more from me. And finally, keep paying attention to your life. Until next time.